Hello, my dear students. Today, let us discuss a very important uh, short answer question that is uh, parallel access theorem. Generally, in the exam hall, they ask the question like this state uh, parallel access theorem and uh, prove it. I am first uh, giving the proof of the parallel access theorem. From the proof, I would like to explain the statement. Okay, let us see what it is. Consider this is a plane lamina of mass m. This plane lamina can rotate with respect to any axis. It may rotate with respect to any axis passing through its center of mass like this or it may rotate with respect to any axis uh, like this, like this, like this or any other axis. Okay. So now let us find the moment of inertia of this plane lamina with respect to an axis passing through center of mass and also with respect to an another axis uh, which is uh, parallel to this uh, axis which is passing through the center of mass and uh, which is at a distance some r from the center of uh, mass. Is it clear? Now moment of inertia. So this is uh, I naught is equal to mass into distance of square. So as to find the moment of inertia of the system, first of all we have to consider one uh, particle and we have to find the moment of inertia of that particle. We have to summate all moment of inertia of all such uh, particles. Now I am considering a particle P which is at a distance uh, x from the center of mass. Uh, now, what is the moment of inertia of this particle P with respect to this axis which is passing through the center of mass? That is uh, delta I naught is equal to delta M into x square. This is the moment of inertia of the particle. Now, what is the moment of inertia of the whole body? We have to add all the moment of inertia of all such uh, particles uh, which are lying on the plane. That is uh, sigma delta I naught which is equal to I naught is equal to sigma delta m into x square. So this is equation number one. Now what is the moment of inertia of this uh, particle P with respect to another axis uh, which is parallel to the axis which is passing through the center mass and which is uh, at a distance r from the center. Say that is moment of uh, inertia with respect to with respect to any axis is equal to delta i is equal to delta m into how far this particle p with respect to this axis it is at a distance r plus x whole square delta m into distance square distance square means r plus x whole square now if you want to find the moment of inertia of all the entire body then i have to add all the moment of inertia of all particles uh, by placing a symbol sigma sigma delta i which is equal to i is equal to sigma delta m into this is a plus b whole square to x upon opening this uh, bracket we get uh, i equal to now see this what is this uh, delta m into r square delta m into r square now see what is this uh, sigma delta m into r square here r is uh, fixed so if i take this outside this is sigma delta m is nothing but uh, sum of masses of all the particles in this lamina what is the sum of mass of all the particles in the lamina is nothing but mass of the plane lamina is nothing but m to r square plus sigma delta m into x square is nothing but uh, i naught i naught plus this term becomes a uh, zero i'll explain uh, in a minute now see what is this i equal to this thing i naught plus mr square now let us see why this is a uh, zero if i write the term here it leads to here 2r is a constant i'm going to take it outside 2r into sigma delta m into x See, 
this is the moment of the particle p with respect to the center of uh, mass in center of mass chapter we have studied that uh, the algebraic sum of moments of all the particles about the center of mass is uh, zero so here i can take one particle here i can take one more particle here i can take one particle which is at distance minus x so what is the moment of this particle delta m into plus x what is the moment of this particle delta m into minus x so algebraic sum when you are adding its momentum its moment and its moment will be cancelled if i take one more particle at a distance something uh, y here and you can take one more particle in the back direction at a distance minus y the mom, algebraic sum of moment of those two particles will be cancelled in such a way the algebraic sum of moments of all the particles about the center mass is zero hence it becomes uh, zero now we are left with uh, this term that is uh, i is equal to i naught plus mr this is our parallax theorem is it clear now let us uh, look into the statement by using this uh, equation what does it say here i means uh, the moment of inertia with respect to an axis with respect to any axis is equal to the plus means the sum sum of uh, moment of inertia with, with respect to an axis parallel to this axis uh, we can say it parallel to it and passing through the center of mass and the product of mass of the object and square of the distance between the two parallel axis where r is the distance between two parallel axis so this is our uh, i is equal to i naught plus mr square let me define again what does it say it says that uh, moment of inertia with respect to any axis is equal to the sum of moment of inertia with respect to an axis passing through the center of mass and parallel to it and product of mass of the object into square of the distance uh, of separation between the two parallel axis that's all this is our statement uh, it has several applications in our uh, daily life by using this uh, we can solve several problems uh, in any competitive exam in the je full length course uh, i am explaining its uh, applications uh, this ip point of view examination point of view explanation so i am not going into details of this so if you wish look uh, observe my je means uh, full length lectures okay practice this all the best